Hey guys, it's Channel Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to show you guys 15 things from the second flight of Halo Infinite that you might have missed. So, let's get right into it. The first one is on the BTB map fragmentation. There are actually quite a few dead sentinels lying around the map. And these sentinels, they are they are huge actually. Like they are really big. And you can see them you know, it depends depends on where you spawn, but you can usually find them around the edges of the map. And there's one right here, you can see how big it is. And there's actually different variants of the Sentinels as well. So this is the standard Sentinel. But the Sentinel Major, you know those gold Sentinels from Halo 2? It seems like they make a return in Halo Infinite as well. See, this Sentinel has like a gold outline to it and is a bit different than the other one. So in campaign, eventually, we could be seeing the uh, Sentinel Majors make a return. Now also on this map are a lot of leftover marine gear. And some of these have interesting um, lore aspects to them, but basically you can find like some marine camps and gear lying around certain parts of the map. You may not like actually see it at first because you know there's a lot of shooting explosions going on, but you'll find stuff like granola bars, um, you know helmets, boots, radios and all that and I believe the radio is even playing like a little message on it as well. So for the next one this one's actually uh, kind of interesting, but there's actually a reused Halo 3 sound effect in this game. So on the map bazaar, this little uh, radio tower here, there's a, if you go to the base of it, there's actually a beeping sound that it keeps playing. I'll let you listen to it. Alright, so that sounded familiar to you. That's because it originally came from the Delta build of Halo 3, where a prototype trip mine used that sound effect. Alright, so as you could hear, that sound effect from Halo 3 has been used quite a few times throughout uh, different Halo games and modified a little bit. Alright, so for this next one, the plasma pistol in Halo Infinite no longer EMPs vehicles. So starting with Halo 3 and pretty much going on through every Halo game since, the plasma pistol, if you shoot a overcharged shot at a vehicle, it would EMP the vehicle and shut it down temporarily. Now, in Halo Infinite, that's no longer the case anymore, regardless of whether you're shooting it at a friendly vehicle or an enemy vehicle. Now, an overcharged shot will still take down another player's shields, but it just does nothing to vehicles at all anymore. The only way to EMP vehicles now is with two shots from the shock rifle, and, I, oh, and a dynamo grenade as well. Either of those two will EMP vehicles, but aside from that, there's no other way to EMP vehicles anymore with the plasma pistol. So... Moving right along, for number 5, some scenery objects aren't solid in the game, even like the dynamic objects. Now this particular one you might have seen on Twitter, and it's kind of become like a meme sort of. Uh, I believe uh, this like related to like some console war argument on over Halo Infinite, but like this particular tree here, it can be destroyed and then pushed around, but before then the tree is actually not solid and some people try to like play it off as like a huge weakness to Halo Infinite. But that's not really like the main interest I had in that. The main thing is that I thought the tree trunks actually looked kind of like Gravemind's tentacles or used very similar textures as it. But that's just a little interesting thing I noticed. It's probably not the same textures, but it just reminded me of it. Now for number six. Weapons in Halo Infinite, specifically UNSC weapons, a lot of them have these little barcodes on it. Actually, each weapon has different types of barcodes on them. And each barcode, or QR code sometimes, they're all different obscure versions. They're not common barcodes, they're not common QR codes. They're very obscure codes, and some of them are even kind of like photoshopped or edited so that you can't easily scan them without undoing the modifications that 343 made. But if you actually clean up some of these barcodes and scan them with a scanner app or a scanner tool, 
though I actually have you know secret messages to them. Now I did a separate video covering these, so for the interest of time, if you want to see what those messages are, you could check it out, check that video out. But basically the messages are just um, just the weapon names. Now for this next one, uh, most animals so far in Halo Infinite, if you grapple shot them, they will actually just go poof, or just go pop. <laughs> they just explode. Except for the rat. The rats in Halo Infinite, for some reason, are kind of made out of metal or something like that. Where if you try to grapple shot a rat, they'll just, they'll just deflect your grapple shot. It won't actually hurt them at all. Now if you shoot the rats, they'll die and they'll go pop as well. But not from a grapple shot. They are totally immune to that for some reason. Some odd reason that I have no idea why. Now for number 8. This one is more of a small uh, bug that happens occasionally and maybe it'll get patched by the time the final game comes out. But sometimes the man cannons on the map fragmentation will seem like they are off and they're not working. But they actually are working. It's just that their effect is for some reason missing and did not load back or anything. So that's basically it. For number 9, this one I've covered before in a previous video, but uh, some people that I've talked to actually still weren't aware of this. But basically, you can shoot off all four tires of a vehicle, like a Warthog, and you could still drive it around just fine. Well, sort of fine. It's um, The handling is pretty bad, and you can't drive as fast anymore. However, the Mongoose is a little bit different. You can still shoot off all four tires, but when you drive the Mongoose, it is, uh, it's not the most realistic anymore, and still has tire sounds for some reason. Plus, on top of those tire sounds, you can still somehow drift the, uh, the mongoose in sand with no tires, which makes no sense. Uh, this next one is something that's been, uh, fairly consistent in some older Halo games, but in uh, quite a few Halo games, if you shoot the gas tank of a ghost, or the side fuel tank, usually with a well-placed shot, or a couple well-placed shots, you can actually just blow it up instantly and do a lot of extra damage to it. But it seems in Halo Infinite, the side tank is no longer a weak spot of the ghost. It um, It's just as powerful as any other part of the ghost. So that's, uh, that's I guess, that's what's been changed. However, one thing that has come back for the ghosts in Halo Infinite is that ghosts once again have infinite boosts. In uh, starting with Halo Reach and pretty much continue on from there, ghosts had a limited boost and they run out after you boost for like a little bit. And I, that always like annoyed me because I, I knew like the reason for that was you know, just for balancing and multiplayer, but they brought it over into campaign and everything. And it was just. Every Covenant vehicle that boosts was just so limited after that point, and it was pretty annoying, especially because in some Halo games you couldn't make it infinite even in custom games. But now, infinite boost is back. Another thing that's back, that was also taken out for balancing reasons, is chain gun turrets and machine gun turrets in general no longer overheat anymore. So again, starting with Halo Reach, uh, after firing a machine gun turret for a while, the heat will build up and it will overheat and you gotta wait till it cools down to be the shoot again. Which, once again, was done for balancing, even though you know, there's really no reason to in campaign. So, that's all gone now, fortunately. Now for number 13, this one is a pretty famous one, actually, if you follow Halo on Twitter and stuff like that. But uh, basically, if you use a dynamo grenade, which is kind of like that, you know, that shock grenade, and you throw it near a wet floor sign, it will actually cause that wet floor sign to duplicate like crazy. And the more you do it, the more it will duplicate. And you can make pretty crazy, like, huge piles of wet floor signs like this. And the results are pretty, pretty funny. <laughs> now, number 14. On the map Live Fire, you've probably seen that there are training dummies on it. And in a previous video, I did briefly mention that the armor of the training dummies can be knocked off completely. But, if you keep going further, even after you've knocked off every t single piece of armor, every single tiny piece of armor on training dummies, uh, they will actually be destroyed once you've done enough damage to them. Uh, well, you have to take off the armor first, I'm pretty sure. But once you've done that and then do enough damage, then the training dummy will just kind of explode, actually. Uh, and with a rocket, you know, one rocket pretty much takes off most of the armor. But 
it's not enough to blow it up with one shot. It takes a couple shots, a few shots actually, with a rocket launcher to destroy a training dummy completely. But otherwise, it takes a lot of hits and a lot of damage to completely blow up a training dummy. Now for this last one, once again on the map Live Fire, there are a couple of pelicans outside of the map. These pelicans apparently are actually real and that you can they're not just like you know scenery pieces out there they are actually um, destroyable pelicans and if you shoot them enough especially like on the upper part of them I think that's where you, the only part you can really do damage to it they will they will actually blow up but when they blow up they just go poof and disappear they don't really have any like exploding pieces or animations or like that they just when they've taken the damage they just disappear <laughs> but they are destroyable, and if they're actually really, ve really vehicles, then maybe you can even drive them one day when people get out of the map and forge or something. But yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. And as always, if you did, make sure to leave a like. And you know, if there's anything else you want to check it out, look into, just uh, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll definitely do my best to uh, look into it and get a chance. Like I said, anything goes, any experiments, any questions you have, just let me know down below. But aside from that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.